Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back guys. We got a really dope video for you today. We're going to be covering our monthly final games that got us to Worlds. So we were in kind of a tough spot after uh, the previous monthly finals and we pretty much needed to win this one unless there are some situations which we'll talk about later in the video where we could go to Worlds if we like made it to the finals or something. But we wanted to win all of it regardless, you know, we want to make a statement before we go to Worlds. And we've been having a pretty good run lately, I'll talk about that a bit in the video as well. But yeah guys, super excited to be back and uh, just make some content for you guys. And uh, we have a really great sponsor for today's video, which I'm going to get into right now. I want to give a big shout out to OnePlus and Google Play for sponsoring today's video guys. And they sent me this really dope device. It's a phone, OnePlus 10T, and uh, I have been loving this thing, guys. It's, I used to play on phone for a while. This is much better than what I always played on. You know, I might not have switched to iPad if I had this back in the day, but I got it now. I've been enjoying it a ton, and my personal favorite feature is the Hyperboost gaming engine. It just makes for such a smooth gaming experience, and that's all that I'm about, guys. Like, as long as I have a device, I'm comfortable, and uh, I'm in heaven right now. So yeah, super stoked for OnePlus for sponsoring this and Google Play and the device is amazing guys. So I definitely recommend you checking their stuff out. And on that note, I got my first tournament with this thing coming up really soon. You guys have a chance to be in it as well. So it's called the Brawl Open. It's organized by OnePlus and Google Play. I know, I've said their name a bunch of times. They're the GOATs though, you guys, trust me. And uh, yeah, it's free to enter. Anyone can play in it, guys. And we could even be on a team. So there's a few other content creators, all really cool content creators. And you guys can sign up with your friends and have a chance to play with us. You, you want to get on my, on my team, guys. I'm, I'm pretty good at this device but uh it's also for a chance to earn fifty thousand dollars which is huge that's like one of the biggest tournaments of the year even for me like a pro player so you guys have a chance to win that and some really dope oneplus devices you want to get your hands on one of these things guys trust me you'll be playing like a pro in no time i'll put all the details in the description below and make sure you guys check it out the oneplus 10t can go from zero to 100 battery in 20 minutes guys it's perfect for someone like me i always forget to charge my phone but it's been bailing me out and it also has 120 fps which is literally what all the brawl stars pros play on it also has 360 degree antenna system for strong Wi-Fi and cell signals, so you always got a good connection wherever you go. It doesn't matter if you're on data, you're playing on Wi-Fi, like the OnePlus got you. And it also has a really nice 3D cooling system. Once again, I just want to say a really big thank you to OnePlus and Google Play for sponsoring this video. You guys are the best, and I love my new OnePlus 10T device. Alright guys, we are going to get right into it. So, uh, like I was saying in the introduction a little bit, there were a few scenarios where we didn't have to win the entire monthly finals to qualify for Worlds, and uh, fortunately for us, one of those did happen, so our GOAT, Alec26, actually beat Vanguard, who was the team who was fighting for Worlds against us in uh, the first round, which, uh, so at this point, we already secured Worlds, uh, but, you know, we want to make a statement, like, I think we've been playing our best brawl of the year at this point, and, uh, you know, we're, we've always been super competitive, so every time we play, we, like, go out there to win, like, I don't care if we already made Worlds, like, I want to come first in the last, like, monthly final and just, like, make a statement, go and, uh, represent NA the best we can at Worlds. So, uh, the, the game is on Deep Diner, and you can just see, uh, I like our comp a lot, I think Griff is really solid here. Because it's a wall break and we kind of paired it with B because B can just like peg like this does such a good job with Griff and Otis is just pretty well around so I think it's a really strong brawler and I've been enjoying Otis a lot lately to be honest a lot of people don't like it uh, I think it's kit is pretty fun though I like like max range muting people and the gadget it's just so annoying so I like spamming people just uh, getting on their nerves a little bit, but I will get taken out there to Juan Carlos, but uh, we do have Countdown at this point, and we're up against Vacher, guys, so if you've been paying attention to NA at all, 
you will know who Vacher is this year. Definitely came out and made a name for themselves and showed that they can play with the best of NA. They actually won a monthly final, the previous one, which is the first time someone besides us and Tribe won a monthly final. So they're definitely a really solid team, and I got a lot of respect for these guys. So, uh, yeah, they're also our friends. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we don't want to lose to them, especially. So, yeah, we're going to do our best to get the dub here. And uh, we just got a body block. Bobby, he did a really nice play there, waiting for the stew to actually dash before he shot it, just to secure the gems. Otherwise, could have gotten ugly, but, you know, Bobby knows what to do. He's uh, played a good amount of Brawl Stars, so. <laughs> Guys, so game number two, we are going to do that little break that... Uh, just at the start, we thought they were going to switch lanes, so I want to be on the Amber, Bobby wants to be on the Stew. Uh, Amber is a pretty tough matchup for Griff, and I think it's definitely more bearable for Otis, because I can just like bug it with uh, my gadgets a lot too, and I'll actually catch Pain out there, so I just kind of chose to ignore my lane and uh, just go for the mid, because I did see he was overextending there a bit, and definitely want to punish that when it's happening. So. Now, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. I do want to get in a position where I can take out the Stu tur turrets, um, and we're gonna do a really good pinch on Juan, but Stu definitely is a bit of a harder matchup for Otis, just because with the shot and uh, Stu. So Otis, it's not like the best at peeking, you can see it's kind of like a Lola shot a little bit, uh, and I will miss my mark there, but I definitely want to get on the Amber, because I think I can, I just have to hit my shots against Amber. Against Stu, you can just see it's doing a really good job uh, just beating me in lane right now and just using its little wall peaks to its advantage. And they did manage to take me out, but, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world because we are in a pretty good position on the rest of the map. And Zara's going to hit a good shot. I'll take the Amber out as well. And they didn't really push their advantage too much. So the Gene is going to pull Bobby, and Bobby just decides, like, I can one-shot you. Also, guys, we were in Dallas here, so our ping is literally, like, three. Like, we tested it. We went to, like, a gaming cafe and stuff, got our own room. We are on three ping, which is a lot less than we usually are, so whenever we get on low ping, like, we're feeling pretty good. It's like athletes with, like, high-altitude training. Like, that's us on low ping, I think. So we always feel pretty nice when we travel. And, uh, yeah, we will take the first set. All right, guys, set number two. So they first picked Max here, which I think was really smart. We wanted to go for a Max comp, and we last picked Gene, which, you know, it's not, like, the easiest Gene game. I still think, it would, like, it's not horrible because Bobby's, like, pretty good at Gene when he decides to aim his pulls. Um, but, yeah, you can just see this team is really good at running it down. They have a nice aggressive play style, and Payne is really good on Max, and, uh, yeah, RBM and Juan are just like really good players all around as well too. So they are very good at running it down. They kind of like made that style pretty popular this year, I think. Um, and you can just see we're pretty backed up here. So Bobby does have his pull and I'm just gonna use a gadget. We're gonna try getting some control back, but pretty much if any of these lanes get opened up by Zar or Bobby hits a pull and breaks the wall, uh, <laughs> Bobby will pull the penny barrel, you know, he goes for those sometimes. I don't know why. They don't work very often, and he's messed them up a few times, but they're going to score because of that. But, uh, you know, you got to take the Bobby BSG and, like, the good and the bad guys. That's what I've realized at this point. Like, he'll hit game-winning pulls, and then he will pull, like, penny bar barrels the other half of the time. So you got to take the good with the bad with the Bobby BSG. Um, but I'm going to hit some good shots there. Bobby's going to poke them down, too, and we'll get some position here. So I do have my mark ready to go. And uh, yeah, we are gonna manage to take out the penny barrel, but on the other end of things, like Zara's gonna go down. I'm gonna hit a good mark, but there's just like, you know, the game's kind of over at that point. So I think we try switching lanes and uh, yeah, try seeing how that goes. All right guys, so game number two. Now, Zara is gonna be on the penny. I am gonna be on the griff. My face cam's locking it out a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think this is, if I ever get those walls open, it's a pretty free matchup for me, but uh, again, like, if you can just chip me and, like, just peek, like, we kind of, we're both not really the best peak brawlers, so it's kind of even at that point, but uh, if that wall ever opens up, I think I do really well, and uh, yeah, we are going to get some really nice plays there, and Zara's just going to open it up, like I was saying, opens it up, I get a kill, 
And uh, now that side of the map is mine. I don't think any of these rollers can really contest me on the open map. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna play it slow and we're gonna get them all pretty low here. So I do have my mute and uh, really nice play from my team there, just synergizing well and just taking our time, not rushing anything. And uh, yeah, Czar is gonna open up the left side. Now, the Penny does a really good job Tapping Zara up this set, I'm not gonna lie, Juan was kinda, Bobby said in his video too, so I think it's okay for me to say, but Juan was kinda tapping Zara up this set, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So Zara is gonna go down there, and I hit a nice mute right there, and Bobby's gonna have a nice gadget too, and that's gonna prevent a goal. Nice pull from Bobby as well. But uh, they are set up, so you can just see it's pretty hard. Juan is tapping Bobby too, oh my gosh, it's not just Zara. He will four tap him, and we are gonna take out the Penny, turret but he's got another one because he's just hitting so many shots right now so uh yeah i guess it's my turn to get tapped up one at this point but we are pretty backed up uh it would have been better for them if you could put it a little more aggro because it's not really shooting us and i feel like when you're just stuck in your spawn with the penny barrel is the most oppressive thing so i'm like all right like i'm not having fun over here i'm gonna put the ball over there on the right side Try getting some gene healing, and yeah, that's the spot that I would have done it in last time. So I'm gonna go down here, and like I kind of realized we were gonna go down, and I think the correct play for me it was if I died earlier, just so I spawn in because there's not a lot of time left, and uh, I probably could have we could have cycled deaths a little better there. But I'm gonna hit a really nice clip on Pain, and Bobby's gonna finish him off, and then he'll just walk up and super it, the Bobby VS special guys, the half court shots, and this one's gonna go in, so uh, yeah, you can see Bobby using my microfiber towel there as well. So nice goal from Bobby VS to uh, get us up to 1 1 in the set. Alright, guys, game number three, and uh, yeah, we are gonna have the lanes that we want again. So Payne just decides like he doesn't want to poke mid and I'm one shot right now. He literally just ran me down and uh, yeah, just one RBM's lane for him. So it's kind of annoying Payne. Um, go do that to Zara next time. And uh, yeah, we are going to slowly move the ball up. Now again, I really just want my wall to be broken. Zara is going to get his wall break, but he's going to use it on their wall, which I don't really like too much. Because you guys saw what happened when my wall was broken last one. And uh, yeah, I am going to take out Pain there, get some revenge for earlier on. And uh, we're just playing it slow. Nice pull from Bobby. And Juan's just trying to keep the pressure up and not lose too much position. So he'll drop a barrel. He's got his turret set up over there. I'm yelling at Zara to break my wall here, I think. But <laughs> he breaks the wrong wall. Um, and yeah, it's definitely not going to help out too much. That one right there, but I think they take out one here. No, Juan's just gonna survive. So he's gonna go for the Penny Mortar, but he does have another one ready to go. And you can just see we're super backed up here. So they've done a really good job just staying up and keeping the pressure on us as well. And uh, Zara is gonna go down here. So Bobby does have pull and I'm gonna take out Juan and they actually get a really nice goal here. So Payne times it perfectly with the gadget. And I think if Bobby goes under, he could maybe catch it, but it's hard because there's a big knockback. Zara finally breaks my wall. Thank you, Zara. And if I ever get that treat and my side's open, like you can just see, like I hit him like full clip on one time and he's like half HP. So it's, uh, Otis is really strong in the Griff on an uh, open map, in my opinion. Now, Griff does have like a lot of sustain, so it's not like a free lane, but I, I think I can definitely like win it. And I'll hit a mute on him there and take him out. And Zara's gonna get a little too excited. I go for something there. I am gonna take out Pain, and uh, I missed the ball. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it goes for Bobby as well, and really nice pass from Zara here, heads up play, so that was almost my bad, like, uh, you know, it happens sometimes, the hitbox can be kind of weird on stuff in Brawl Stars sometimes. Luckily, there weren't any bad repercussions for it, so uh, yeah, it is overtime now, and we're going to get a treat on Bobby, he'll hit a nice pull on Juan, and we will get a gadget out of pain as well. So Gene is really good here. You can just see like the passive healing is so nice. You don't have to stop and regen. You just keep on shooting. And uh, yeah, I will take RBM out pretty low there as well. But Pain, he just does such a good job 
of like cycling max supers and they will get in the corner here but uh you can see Juan's in some really good shots on czar there as well fortunately here uh, I think Bobby does get, yeah, Bobby overextends a little bit, misses his pull, and he will go down, so I'm going to mute Pain too. Otherwise, I think they could have gone for a play there, but because uh, there was one shot as well. They choose to just play it safe and uh, keep the ball in the corner. Pain, bro, this guy, like, we're all spinning and stuff, like, we know it's going to be a tie. This guy's farming KD, bro. He's worse than Bobby at the, like, just trying to, like, get his stats up. And, uh, yeah, he's laughing about it, right? He's like, probably like, yo, I got three kills at the end of the game. Okay, like, he's gonna be nuts. And, uh, yeah, that one is gonna be a draw. Alright, guys, so, since it was a draw, we are gonna redo the game. So, game number three, technically game number four, but, uh, yeah, we, everyone's fine with their lanes, apparently. Like, they haven't been trying to switch. I think Juan's been winning his lane, and I've been kind of winning my lane. Except when Pain does this to me, and just, like, pinches me, and makes it, like, very difficult. So I get RBM1, and uh, Pain's just going to come over and kill me, which is pretty annoying. He is going to gadget as well. Zara will go down. And uh, Bobby does a really nice defense here and pulls him, but... Uh, I guess it's my fault for overextending a bit, but Pain just does a really good job punishing me as well. And uh, yeah, I was trying to win my lane, but I got a little carried away, I guess, so it's kind of my fault. Um, and Zar is going to break a lane. Fortunately, it's not mine. It feels very bad. But uh, he does get Juan backed up and get him pretty low as well. So Juan's going to choose to drop his gadget there. Zara will just take it out. Kind of a waste of gadget, but uh, yeah, I'm going to hit a nice mute on RBM there and hit some shots on them as well. So we get them both pretty low. And uh, Pain, he's just going to gadget, and this guy won't leave my lane alone, bro. It's so annoying. Uh, he'll take out Bobby as well, and he's going to get the max speed for them. And I think I have a really nice defense here. Um, so RBM does have super. They're looking, like, really dangerous right now. We're hitting some good shots, but they got us backed up. And uh, I will almost take out Pain. So I'm going to mute RBM, and... I get one, one as well. Zara's gonna go and clean up, so pretty clutch defense for me. It was a really bad spot to be in, and uh, yeah, we do manage to take out two of them, and the ball was so close. I think one went for a trick shot there. I'm not sure, maybe he could have walked it in or shot it to the near side, but I will get RBM one shot as well, and like I've been saying, guys, like if it's an open lane, like I think I can just dominate him, and I'll pretend like I'm not paying attention to him and just shoot one and that's not, I don't know about that one but I hit a good mute on him as well and yeah we will get a goal so just I kind of ignored him and I went for one so because I realized we we're running out of time and I just mute him really quick then I can just we can 3v2 the other guys and it ended up working out pretty good so Zara is going to go down a little unfortunate there and I'm going to get hit by the penny mortar but I will hit a really nice mute but uh here comes this pain guy again, like not letting me regen at all. So I'm trying to stick close to Bobby, but it's really tough position here because I know RBM is going to get a super soon. As soon as he gets a super, like we got to just try. So in retrospect, I should have thrown the ball right because Bobby could have killed pain too. And maybe we get out of it, but uh, we're just kind of in a bad spot for overtime. So they are going to tie it up 1-1. All right, guys, set number three, Kaboom Canyon and... I am going to be on the gold 8-bit. Honestly, guys, I popped off this set pretty hard. Like, I think I've been playing good on Otis and stuff, but this one, I feel like I kind of carry, like, pretty hard. So, I am getting really close to my turret. Now, I'm going to be on the extra damage turret, guys, and I think it's really good. And uh, I almost take it every time over the speed one, just because look how much damage I'll do, bro. I'll hit, like, one, like, half a clip on pain. He'll be, like, one shot, and... Turn's gone, but I'm like halfway to another one, and I think it's really strong with speed gear. So speed gear is pretty much the equivalent of having like the speed turret, and you can see I'm hitting some really good shots here. So I'm close to another one, and I'm gonna take them all out there uh, with a little help from my team as well. And I'm just gonna waddle up the map nice and slow. I'm gonna drop it here. Like doesn't really matter. Like. Some people would put that behind the wall, but I kind of want like all the range on it, and I feel like I can hold them back pretty well as long as I hit my shots. So I don't really mind like leaving it out in the open if I know I can body block and just keep the pressure on and put them back. And uh, you can see I'm hitting some really good shots here, and I'm gonna do 
like 15% there. I'll get them one shot as well. Zara's chipping the save down too. Really nice. Sweet's really good here too. And uh, yeah, they have another run it down comp with Janet and Bonnie and Max. So Payne and Zara are probably like the best Maxes in North America. So they just take turns like picking it every draft when we play pretty much. And Bobby's gonna get a nice burn on safe. So again, there's a Jano on our safe. I'm yelling out, just ignore it. Like, let's get on safe. And I'm gonna get my turret up, and Bobby is gonna just wail on the safe with that extra damage. Now, that is gonna give us the lead. So I'm gonna, yeah, we just look to get a kill here. And we can base race these guys really easily. Like, the amount of damage we do compared to them is kind of nuts. So any chance we get, we're gonna look to do that. And I'll take out Juan Carlos and we do have the lead, so we don't really need to do it here, but I'm just gonna go up to apply pressure because you know they do have Janet fly. But when Janet flies up, it's gonna be a 2v3. She can't attack any of us when she's in the air. So I just go for the safe and uh, yeah, the Janet does not have enough damage at this point in the game to do that and we will finish it. All right guys, game number two. So, uh, yeah, I'm also on the gadget where it's like double the shot, just for if I ever get on safe, it'll just do a ton of damage. So I'm trying to keep these guys back and get my turret. And uh, when I have one of them on my lane, I can just take like advantage of it like this. So I'm gonna hit some really good shots on the Janet and I know I'm winning my lane like confidently. So I try to give my teammates some too, so they can win theirs. And I'm just like kind of clipping RBM pretty hard here. I think I take him out. And I'll just go on safe and get like a good amount of damage, like 14%, it's really solid. And uh, yeah, Juan Carlos is gonna jump up there as well. He'll get 7%, but uh, he will go down. So it's a really good trade for us. And I got a lot of hits towards my next turret as well. So you can see I pick it up right there. And I'm gonna put it in the same spot as last game. So again, you know, ideally you do wanna put it behind walls, but if you're in a position where you can just kind of body block and uh, protect it yourself as long as you hit shots which you know I'm, hit, I'm hitting some shots this game guys like I'm gonna be completely honest like I don't mind putting my turret out in the open just for a better position and uh yeah I'm gonna go down there so RBM's gonna take Bobby out as well I think I managed to get him uh so he's gonna be 48 HP it is a Janet so we can just leave it I'll full clip pain and he ping diffs Bobby so hard he three tapped him there uh so these guys like they're always on low ping besides Juan. So uh, we're on Texas server. They're all from Mexico. And uh, that burn misses Juan, which is pretty weird. But Bobby's doing a really good job defending. On the other end of things, me and Zara are just like tearing the safe, safe up. So uh, we're off to a really nice lead here. I got my full gadget off there with the turret, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to look to push up this left side here. Again, the Janet's not the biggest threat. Like, it's more annoying like having something behind you like you don't have to worry about Janet damage too too much uh, this is an EU we do more than like 2% damage to high safes so uh, Janet flying isn't gonna be the end of the world so I'm gonna get a kill and just go on safe and I'll get it to 1% there and Zara's just gonna go finish it off with his super and we will take the high set Alright guys, set number four, so it's two on us I'm so happy I get a Nani game like you guys get to see all the gold skins I definitely got the most drip out of any of the players skin wise I think and uh, yeah so that's a pretty big misplay for me I wasn't expecting B to instantly get 3k and I underestimated because they have Brock for the wall brick so they got there so fast I was not expecting it and like nobody called out that the B had 3k Bobby uh, but no obviously that's my fault like I should have the reaction time when I see a 3k shot coming at me to press return to sender and I did it too late so that rounds on me even though you know you could dodge a shot maybe but they are gonna open that up as well here and I'm gonna I think I just full yeah I like one shot the B and I do get my return to sender on there it's like 0.1 seconds too late so but I got the kill so it doesn't matter like nobody's gonna be upset at me over that and uh yeah, so this one's looking pretty good for us, and we're just gonna get our supers and kill RBM. And uh, yeah, that one was a lot better. So I am gonna go for a kill here with my Nani head. Now I can one shot two of them, but they're hiding in the bush, and RBM just catches me. I think Bobby could go in there and probably just kill him, but uh, it might be a trade. But if I'm on Fang, I think I'd go in there. Um, and 
Yeah, so we are going to get a little pushback here. Zara's going to have to use his gadget early, which kind of sucks because now he's dead. And uh, I think I get him kind of low. So I think that's another, like, just because it's a 2v3, like, if someone's low, I kind of feel like I play a lot of thing, and you should just kind of go for it at that point because there's not going to be a lot of good opportunities, I think. And kind of like 1v3 for me at this point because it's just fang poking so there again like i think you know you got to go in even if you're like half hp or something because otherwise we're gonna get put in this corner and this is gonna happen and uh yeah he, he's gonna end up supering a fang wall <laughs> bobby's like backup team fang guys all right like it's not his fault like no, he has one good thing so i think all right guys so game number two of knockout and yeah i don't get like one shot this time which is much better start and uh yeah so zara kind of has like penny and declet i think it's fine but the other two like you can block like a b3k but brock's pretty annoying for penny on this map i think so zara is kind of having an annoying lane and yeah so i'm gonna get brock one shot and bobby's gonna max range like Hit him with his shoes, so nice uh, kill from Bobby, and Bobby plays pretty good this one. So he will just take them all out there, and I think it's one from Super there, so really well played from Bobby BS. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use my head this time to break it open because Czar, like, he, it's really hard for him if they get the matchups right, so this way he can kind of go back. And uh, yeah, nice kill there from Bobby, and I'll get one, one as well, and yeah, just really clean play from my team there, and uh, myself as well. So, nice game from Bobby on the thing as well. Zara did great on the penny also. Alright, so it is a match point for us right now, and uh, I kind of like using my Nani head just to break it open so Zara is more playable for him. And Zara's going to get taken out really low, so he's going to be one. Watch, he one-shots the clip, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize that I watched it after he like 5k'd it or like something like something crazy like that So it's gonna be a really big kill for us because he was one shot and he just turned around like that That is the power of penny barrels and uh, Yeah, you got to be careful if you're ever going in on a penny like that So we're gonna get one one shot as well and uh, you know, Just trying to get supers. I'm missing a few like I get it at the end and I think I go to open it up so yeah, I choose to open it up and uh, just so Zara can play around a little more. He's got his mortar set up. This looks so good, guys. Like, this is the perfect position to be in. And uh, yeah, we just got to survive a little bit. And I think I get my naughty head really soon here. Or maybe not. So yeah, we are just playing it slow. We got the mortar. We got everything. Everything's looking really good. This is a match point. And yeah. Let is going to be one, and it kind of glitches there. It's pretty weird, like, but he does trade, so it's not the end of the world. And we are going to push back a little bit here. So I'm going to return to sender just to make one one, just so we get, like, some control back. So I got hit intentionally there, and, uh, yeah, it, it cost me a gadget, but otherwise we get pushed back. So I think it's fine, and we're trying to get the matchups right. So Zara wants to be on Colette, and... Uh, you know, I can be on B or whoever. So I want to return to send him again, if possible. I think I have two left. So I want to save one at least for the next round. But Zara's kind of get taken out pretty low here. So I don't really get enough time to just kind of chip. And uh, yeah, I will use one there. But I got one left. I, I definitely should have saved it. But I wanted to see if I could go for something there. But we could have played that one a bit better, I think. And uh, I am very close to my Nani head, so I'll hit a shot, and when I use it, Bobby's full HP. <laughs> but then, he got hit by like every shot, and like, you know, Bobby, he's trying to keep me alive, and we get a kill off my Nani head. So like, I don't know, if he doesn't get hit by every shot there, like, I think it's fine using my Nani head there. I just didn't know he was going to get hit by like, everything on the map. And Zara, like, bro, this guy almost gets so different here, like... He jumps in and he almost three taps the B. Like, it was already like three taps in there. I think he can win this, like, genuinely. So, he's got the mortar too, and they're playing so scared of him right now. Like, after he almost three tapped him, like, he's got them backed up, bro. This is hard matchups for Penny too. Um, and he's at the barrels. 
so you know little Zara's playing his heart out here and uh he's just he's being a little menace to them like everyone was watching this like there's no way so really nice try from Zara and uh fortunately we played really sloppy that last one the second game was really clean but the third one was just like sloppy so it is gonna go to set five as set number five we got Bobby on Piper me on the gold griff bro my gold skins just look so clean so uh we got czar on the dog as well and bobby just kind of trolls there i don't know what he was doing he didn't see it's a slow i guess and he just kind of gives them the lead and uh yeah pretty much with our comp like it's designed like for bobby to just this is a very free piper game so we're just going to try like winning our lanes, like opening it up and stuff and just letting Bobby tap pretty much. And uh, I am going to, you know, I don't want to get Fang super obviously. Uh, he can kill me. So because he has low ping, he can shoot very fast. And Griff, it's not like a really ping brawler kind of. But we're doing a good job opening the map up and Bobby's treated up. So, you know, it is his time to shine and RBM is going to miss and I will take him out and I'm going to tank those two squeak shots for Bobby because he was landing there and I'll super him and just really nice team play for me and Bobby like we've been doing this for a while so I feel like me and Bobby like have some of the best synergy in Brawl I think and it's just like we kind of trust each other with plays like that so uh yeah nice shots from Bobby as well there he's kind of coming back and you will curve pain and it broke Piper like powered up like in the bush with ambush does so much damage so they don't have any way to kill Bobby at this point he's got jump like Fang can super but he can just jump away he just has to be careful of like sloppy stuff like let's say like a Otis mute or something I'm gonna chain supers on them here and uh yeah they can't go in on me like that at this point in the game and Bobby has like seven stars or something like that like I think he gets a few more kills too and uh yeah this game just every like the start was pretty sloppy from bobby i'm not gonna lie but he redeemed himself a bit you know and uh, i think means i played pretty decent as well too and we are gonna take game number one all right guys game number two so it is match point again i'm gonna do the same wall break and uh bobby this guy loves doing that just running down the side lane and double tapping three tapping someone on piper and you know, much better start for the Piper this game. It's going to get two quick kills here. But then, I don't know what he's doing here. Like, I'm breaking the wall, and he's, like, walking up to, like, break it too, and he just dies without jumping. So, it's kind of like the Gene. Like, uh, sometimes it'll, like, just pop off, and then sometimes it'll, like, do stuff like that. So, it's, uh, you got to take the good with the bad with Bobby VS on some brawlers. And, uh... They did manage to get the lead there, but Zara's going to do a nice job getting wall break, and uh, he is going to be on the, we call it boom boom roughs, because <laughs> boom booms, and uh, yeah, just to push him back, bags would get like no use here, It'd probably just help the fang bounce to be honest. So I'm trying to get Bobby to go on, on the squeak I think, because it's easier for him. I'm going to get hit by a slow there as well, and uh, so they're doing a good job, so we just gotta be careful of the all-in with them, and Zara does get hit by a slow there, so Juan's trying to pinch him out. He's doing a really good job just hanging on, and uh, yeah, we are gonna get out okay, and Bobby's gonna get a nice shot off there, and uh, oh, he's out of curves, I was gonna say, oh, true, he curved that one wall, so I broke that wall, because he, he hit it with like three shots and like a curve, I'm like, yeah, I gotta take that wall out, like, it's, causing too much problems but uh i'm gonna get a super there as well from czar and i just don't want to get too backed up here but it's looking like we're gonna have to be at this point in the game and uh nice gadget from czar there you can just see how much space it gives us so i get hit with a slow and bobby gets max range muted here when he has a jump and uh it's gonna cost us the game he can't jump out fang can't do that if he's not muted and uh yeah you know i think you gotta jump that one but really good mute from juan carlos there definitely win them that game i think a little it, it could have been prevented i think so i'll just say it could have been prevented but it's gonna be a double match point now so whoever wins this wins the monthly finals the last one of 2022 so <sighs> This Juan guy, he just runs across the map and pinches me. I get pinched by all three of them. 
they're just kind of free hitting on me and uh I, like i would have survived but this one guy literally ran from his lane across the map to mine just to like otis gadget me and kill me so it was a really good play from him and here i'm telling bobby like yo please go in the squeak he's like no nah, i don't want to I was like, all right, fine, like, if you're going to do that, like, I can deal with the squeak, but squeak into griff is a very hard matchup, Bobby, luckily for us, Bobby does jump there, it's fine, but my goal is to get up the map and break where Vatra Pain is right now, and, uh, it is just a lot easier when everything's open, because they can just, like, peek corners here, squeak's really good at peeking corners, and he is going to super me, I don't know if it hits me, I feel like it doesn't. But Zara's gonna get a really nice kill on Juan there as well. So I did manage to get my super, and <laughs> we all know that wall's a threat. So RBM is gonna go in, and I'm like, all right, if he goes back here, I think we lose. So I kind of just like get pretty aggro. I start wiggling a bit. I'll take out pain. I'll get the lead back for us. Also the dog tree, and I finally get to break out this stupid part of the map that he's been hiding behind. And uh, yeah, so the game is ours to lose at this point. We have better comp in my opinion. Their comp's good too, don't get me wrong, but I, I think ours is easier to execute, especially when the walls are open. I'm gonna open that one up as well. Bobby, he's got some curves left. He's gonna just start throwing them out. Gets pain one shot, and RBM's just looking to go in. He knows he can't go in on Bobby because Bobby can jump, even though he doesn't choose to half the time. And I'm just gonna try keeping RBM low. We're all being careful, and the squeak guy slows me with a gadget. He, Bobby gets max range again. I didn't even see that, but I will kill him when he goes in, and yeah, we're gonna celebrate a little bit. Zara just jumps in my arm, like I gave Bobby a hug too. Sans gonna be there too, and uh, I, I don't know. Zara, like we don't practice any celebration, so he's just gonna do some stuff. Like we're just all like excited because you know we made world. It was a big day for us. We made worlds, one monthly finals, and yeah, these guys are a little sad. Like it's understandable. Like they played really good though. Like. Nothing but love for Vatra, like, they're the homies. Like, they're good sports about it, bro, I love one. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Kind of a long one, but, uh, yeah, definitely wanted to cover the games that got us to Worlds. I'm going to be making some more videos before I go to Worlds. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys tune in for those ones as well. Once again, just want to say a really big thank you to OnePlus and Google Play for sponsoring this video and giving me this amazing new device that I'm destroying people in Brawl Stars on. And uh, guys, make sure you check out, once again, the upcoming Brawl Open tournament that they're hosting. And for 50 grand, for OnePlus devices, you guys don't want to miss this. You can also play with me, you know, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'll put all the info in the description above. And even if you guys don't want to play, uh, they're doing a bunch of giveaways too that anyone can win, so they're definitely worth checking out, guys. The biggest prize, well, you can win these, of course, which is awesome, but they're also sending two people to Paris to watch the Brawl Stars World Finals. You know, I'll say hi to you guys if you come up there. We can, like, you know, play some games on our OnePlus devices. And, uh, yeah, again, guys, all the information is going to be in the description above. You don't want to miss any of this stuff. Shout out one last time to OnePlus and Google Play. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check everything out. Peace, guys.